The Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 10 to 13. My beloved spoke and said unto me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of the singing of birds has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree putteth forth her green figs, and the vines with the tender grapes give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Now the imagery here fits perfectly into the exodus of Israel from Egypt, and that's exactly how Judaism interprets this, how Rashi in particular interprets this. And these are the metaphors. We go through them quickly. Where it says, rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. They refer that to God having sent Moses and Aaron to tell the Jews to get up. It's time to go. And where it speaks about, for lo, the winter is past. The weather was good when they left because the exodus occurred in the month of Nisan, the spring, which equates to our late March, early April, that sort of time. The winter, which is alluded to, is seen to refer to the 210 years of slavery and the rain that's mentioned to the worst 86 years of the 210 years. The flowers that appear on the earth are attributed to the brothers Moses and Aaron. The bird singing was the song that the Israelites sang after the miracle of the parting of the sea in Exodus chapter 15. The figs were the first fruits in the tabernacle or temple, and the grapes were the wine libations. Our point is this, Judaism still looks back fondly to their days in the wilderness as the honeymoon between God and Israel. And these lovely metaphors fit perfectly with that idea. Meanwhile, we have an even greater and more memorable deliverance from the house of bondage, the land of darkness and death. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Colossians 1.13 following. His kingdom is our home, not here. You know, in San Diego Zoo, there are Alaskan birds that always face in the direction of their home, Alaska. That's a lesson for us.